Welcome to another day of the vlog. We are about 20 minutes out from uh, another tough workout to start uh, the double bike Saturday. This one is it's intimidating always when you're changing phases. Uh, just you're attacking a new energy system. So as I mentioned yesterday, the next project is going to be attacking that 20 minute power. Um, so this is the first workout in that series. Project 360 um, and so uh, the workout that I'm doing today is actually you can get it on uh, indoorspecialist.com I'll link it in the description it's the first in their series I'll probably end up doing the entire series because it it works out very well for uh, for a, a attacking that 20 minute power um, so it's the workout is six times three minutes at 110% of FTP and I'm taking the 20 minute I did in the race just on Thursday uh, which was 345 so I'll take that and it works out to 360 on the dot actually um, big ask for sure to increase FTP by 10% um, but no matter what it'll improve it so um, whether that's 5% or 10% it doesn't matter um, so yeah I'll link those in this in the description it's funny on paper when you look at 360 watts after the last few months of doing intervals at 400 plus it looks not that intimidating but then when you consider there's only one minute recovery between each of them and then you say oh that's really like 18 minutes at there's 18 minutes at 360 within a 24 minute period when you look at it like that, then yes, it, it is, it's gonna hurt. And I'm anticipating that the first couple will feel like nothing. And then five in, you'll, uh, four in, you'll be really hurting. And I'll, I'll check in to let you know how, it, how it's going. Um, but yeah, throughout the next five weeks, six weeks, I'll be attacking this 20 minute power. Um, for sure, I'm not gonna lose touch with that VO2 max power, because I think there's big gains that can be made in that zone and uh, that zone and above, like with those 30 second intervals I did last Saturday and the minute long intervals that I did a couple Saturdays ago. So I'm gonna keep doing those types of workouts, um, but at least one of these per week attacking the 20 minute. Um, so I'm gonna kind of combine the two. Um, and then also actually with that VO2 max type power um, staying involved with the Zwift racing really helps with that since you get a lot of two, three, four minute long sustained very high end efforts. Um, so I'll end up being a key, stay in touch with that zone uh, throughout this uh, next project. Um, so check back in in just a little while and see how things are coming along. Halfway. So I get a little tough.
much, much better than expected. I was thinking going in, I thought, again, like I said in the beginning, I thought, well, the water doesn't seem crazy um, based on what I was doing before. But then it's like, but like it's 18 minutes of 360 within 24 minutes. So it's like, that's a lot, right? And obviously the VO2 max improvements carried over because in the end I had more than enough power. Um, I'll say my only little disappointment is I was getting out of the saddle a little bit and I'll say that the only reason I was doing that was just to break it up. I didn't want to just sit in the saddle the whole time. I wanted to break it up a little bit so that it mimics the Zwift racing and stuff like that. So the averages, they came out exactly bang on what I wanted. They were 363, 363, I think 363, 366, 366, 367. So about 365 average. But by breaking it up, the last couple just going in and out of the saddle, I ended up getting, as you can see a little bit on the graph, I ended up getting some power spikes. Um, and I don't know, I, like I don't know if that's okay to do when you're trying to just do a steady threshold effort, but I don't know, the fact is power is the power. So I don't know, I'm, I, I don't know about whether that was right or wrong to do because like I said even though the average ended up coming to what exactly what I wanted actually even higher like the last one like I said 367 so seven watts higher than what I wanted um, I don't know if it was right or wrong to be going in and out of the saddle or should I have just stayed in the saddle at one cadence the whole time I'm not sure I don't know maybe coach would tell me differently or something like that but I'm my coach and I say yeah it's okay ended up hitting the numbers so I really don't care if it's in out of the saddle you'd be sitting on the couch as long as you hit the numbers I don't really care where you are um, so anyways big success like I felt like I could pump out another couple and that's what we're building towards just something I wanted to say I mentioned it yesterday I said like I improved my VO2 max with that um, and I just said it here at the beginning I said maybe it went so well because my VO2 max improvements carried over but I just wanted to clarify something me having a uh, honors BSc in kinesiology graduated SUMA I just wanted to clarify that like I feel like I have a responsibility to clarify that and say you're not really getting a VO2 max improvement. There's slight, like you can improve your VO2 max slightly. Um, and that's really talking about like untrained individuals to trained individuals. You can get a few percent here or there. It depends all of what your fitness is going in. For an already good athlete, an elite athlete, Odds are you're not going to be getting 10% improvements in VO2 max, right? Over that six week or five week period of Project 400, um, did I improve my VO2 max? If I did the VO2 max, like spirometry tests there, exercise tests in the beginning and then in the end, would I have improved? Maybe, but because I'm already at high level, like we're talking like maybe half a percent, right? The key though is maybe the VO2 max only went up by half a percent, but it's the power at VO2 max. And that's the key differentiator there. So while say, say my VO2 max is 80, let's just ballpark, okay? Let's say after the five weeks, it went to 80.5, okay? Improved but not really. But the key is, is let's say at 80, I'm putting out 380 watts. And then I come back again at 80.5, I'm putting out 
408 watts. Why? Well, the muscles have got stronger. You're able to put more power at that VO2 max, right? So it's, it's not really an aerobic adaptation per se. It's more just your, your muscular efficiency, your muscular strength has gone up at that same number, relative to that same number. So that's what I mean. So the 360, the VO2 max improvements, the ability to generate higher power at maximal aerobic efforts has gone up. So now at sub maximal aerobic effort, it's easier. And that's kind of what I mean. Anyways, so I have a brick run to do after this and then a uh, Zwift race tonight. Uh, just gonna do a short race for a couple punchy little climbs. Really my Saturday race is just meant to practice various tactics and because of the big morning workouts I try to put as little power as possible uh, to stay in that front group and then to see if I can win in the end. Uh, so I'll do that and then I'll do a little strength routine as well. Alrighty, thanks so much for watching and uh, yeah, overall great first session in the next phase of the training.